Hello everyone, this is Unit 5, Past Simple. I did. We'll be talking about Mozart today. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was an Austrian musician and composer. Mozart could play many instruments, but he was well known for his piano and violin skills. Mozart lived between 1756 to 1791. He was born in Salzburg and he lived in a city called Vienna. He was married to a woman called Constance and they had six children together. Mozart started composing music at the age of five. He composed musical pieces he played for his father. His father was his teacher. He taught him how to play musical instruments and how to write music. Mozart wrote over 600 pieces of music in his life. Many of his most famous words came from later in his life. On average, he wrote 17 compositions every year. Mozart died at the age of 35. His death was recorded as severe millery fever. Many people find it suspicious, leading to countless theories on what could have really happened to him. That was Unit 5, Past Simple. I did. I hope you learned something new today. Hello everyone, welcome to Unit 5, Past Simple. I did. So let's read this paragraph here. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was an Austrian musician and composer. He lived from 1756 to 1791. He started composing at the age of five and wrote more than 600 pieces of music. He was only 35 years old when he died. Lived, started, wrote, was, died, are all past simple. Let's move on to B next. Very often, the past simple ends in ED. For regular verbs, I work in a travel agency now. Before that, I worked in a department store. They invited us to go to their party, but we decided not to go. The police stopped me on my way home last night. Laura passed her exam because she studied very hard. So if you put ED at the end of some of the words, you can make it very easily into past tense. So for, for some words like stopped, st studied, you have to go to Appendix 6. So if you go up here and you click the four boxes, you can find all the pages in this entire book. So let's scroll down to Appendix 6. So that's Appendix 3, 4, 5, 6, this one. So when you find it here, click on the book map up here, the red square. Once it's red, it's in your favorites. And then you can click on the favorites tab to easily access them. So let's do appendix three, mm, sorry, appendix one and appendix six, save them both so you can access them very easily. Okay, let's go back to our original page. But for many verbs, many verbs are irregular. The past simple does not end in ed. So not every word is ed. So for example, write changes into wrote, see changes into saw, go changes into went, and shut stays the same. So Mozart wrote, not write it. We saw Alice, not we seed Alice. I went to the cinema, not I goed to the cinema. 
It was cold, so I shut the window. It stays the same. So we can find these on Appendix 1. So we should save Appendix 1 and Appendix 6 to access them easier. Let's go on to C next. In questions and negative sentences, we use did and didn't plus an infinitive. Enjoy, see, go. So for I, you can say I enjoyed, I saw, I went, or she enjoyed, she saw, she went, or they enjoyed, they saw, they went. For did, you can do the same. Did you, did she, did they, but you have to add an infinitive on the end. Did you enjoy that? Did you see that? Did you go? And I didn't. I didn't enjoy that. I didn't see that. I didn't go. So for example, I enjoyed the party a lot. Did you enjoy it? How many people did they invite to the wedding? I didn't buy anything because I didn't have enough money. Did you go out? No, I didn't. Sometimes do is the main verb in the sentence. Did you do? I didn't do. What did you do at the weekend? You wouldn't say, what did you at the weekend? I didn't do anything. Not, I didn't anything. Good, so let's move on to D next. The past that B, am, is, a, is, was, and were. I, he, she, it, was, or wasn't. I was happy. He wasn't happy. She was sad. It wasn't angry. Was, I, he, she, and it. Was it sad? Was I angry? Was she sad? So, for what, were, and weren't, you can say we, you, and they. We weren't happy. You weren't sad. They were happy. Were you, we, and they? Were they angry? Were you happy? So you can use these for past tense. So for example, I was annoyed because they were late. Was the weather good when you were on holiday? They weren't able to come home because they were so busy. I wasn't hungry, so I didn't eat anything. Did you go out last night or were you too tired? Good job, everyone. Let's move on to the exercise questions next. See you later.